The Golden Sarcophagus of Light. No, not Horus. The other sarcophagus that came out recently. We want to make it good. We want to make it shine. It's got all kinds of Yugi archetypes mixed into it after all. So, Mario's made a disaster of a deck that I think is going to be either... It's going to be something. We'll fight Earthbound against it and see how this goes. Will the deck be able to play it up? I, th I think the deck is a good medium deck, but we will see if it can be benefited by some non-traditional cards. So, oh thank goodness my stuff is back. Okay, we can now start with this. I suppose we'll normal summon a line walker. Yeah, I, wa I watched a lot of video people's tries at the deck, and I put in some of their good ideas into this, so I'm hoping okay. I'm not mixing too, too much together. But That's kind of what I do for stuff. Like, I, I look at other people's ideas and I pick and choose, like, ooh, that was a good idea. Ooh, that's a good idea. Ooh, three Ash Blossoms and Impermanence? No. Oh, Nibiru? Nah. <laughs> but there's yeah. pl plenty of other good ideas that people share. I do have one Nibiru, but I feel like that's just, like, the one of that I get out of. Sure. I'll but give I you that. This, but the, against this deck, I don't think Nibiru's going to go off. It's not huge against this deck, necessarily, no. No. Uh, Nibiru, I feel like Nibiru is a good middle of the road. Like, your opponent has to be summoning, like, a lot for it to go up. But if your opponent just summons, like, two or three times, it's never going to come up. It's mm -hmm. never. Let's see. I guess... Sure, we'll just go for this boy since we can. Get something on the field, obviously. I don't want to play this, you know, forward on turn one, but I'm doing it anyway. So there we go. Outcomes, I suppose, we will just pop since they've already used all their effects. We'll just get the sweeper back on the field. Call it a day right there. Um, and yeah, end my turn. So that's happening. This guy, um, I believe, um, he has some cool effects that can be done. I can special summon. Oh, okay, it's just always. So we'll chill. Yeah, let me see. You can just. Oh yeah, you can destroy one card in the field. So I gotta be careful of that. Yep. But unfortunately, I am gonna have to put out a target for you. Gold sarcophagus of light. Okay. And I will activate it, which will allow me to search out a gold sarcophagus card. Very nice. I don't need to... I don't need to add the tricolor gadgets right now because they're mainly, you know, the they search cards. They Sarcophagus of Light. So they're very necessary in the deck, however. Not what you need right now. You already have it. I already have it, so I don't need to necessarily need to look for that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, okay. So this could either be good or bad for me. Let's see it. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna... He's yeah, gonna... I'm gonna get the uh, I'm gonna get the silence towards the future. Okay, we like that one. And then I'm going to special summon my Kishiria, my Kishiric Fenrir. Ah, Fenrir, we like Fenrir. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can definitely see how desperate people were trying to make this deck work. Oh, uh, maybe we throw yeah. some Kashira in there to thin the deck. Yep, there you go. Consider the deck thinned. Yeah, because they can also search out again. I believe they can also search out Gandora as well. Can they? Oh, no, it's a level 8. Never mind. <laughs> it's a level 8. And yeah, it's people... Kashira monster. <laughs> it's what it searches. So. Yeah. Okay, and then I will. Then I can special summon my Gandora from the hand. Okay, now we talk. It was, it was in the starting hand. Yep. Can pay half your life points to show as many other cards in the field as possible. I'm gonna wait on doing that one just right now. Okay. Interesting choice to summon him in that case. But what else you got? I'm trying to remember. I have Magician Souls in hand. I have Magician Souls. Okay. Because this can be used to search out uh, the other spellcasters in the deck. Yeah, you can use that and send spellcaster um, to the graveyard. Which I think I'm going to activate. Alrighty. I'm going to send the Illusion of Chaos. Ah, uh, yes, Illusion of Chaos. There you go. So then he can special summon himself that way. 
Yeah. It's not gonna search any of your spellcasters you're looking for, but it's another piece on the board. And it can potentially, uh, draw. Ah, you put it in the grave, okay. Oh, was that not the right move? Um, it doesn't give you any benefit, I don't think. But, I mean, putting it on the field would only benefit you if you have cards to get rid of. Right. Yeah, I don't okay. know what the goal of that is in there, but hey. Because you can get your, um, you know, your your magician sent to the graveyard. I just don't know how you bring it out. Maybe one or the other. Uh, Gold Sarcophagus of Light card supports that. But he has set a card. What's my then I'll normal move? summon. Okay, the you already magician him, so that's good. Yeah. And then I'm going to go into the battle phase. All right. I do have a very weak monster out. Well, not very weak, but weak enough. And then, and now I'll activate the Silent Swords of Future. Because ah, of when it, lovely. Yeah, because when it's activated during the battle phase, while I control the Gold Sarcophagus of the Light and the monster that mentions it, each player draws until they have six cards in their hand. Wonderful. Yeah, that's such a good card, honestly. It's just, if only it was, you know, a little more supported by other cards. But that's great. All right, we're in trouble now. Woo! Yeah. Um... Yeah. All right. That was the reason. That was the reason I brought out Gendor, though. I was just trying to get rid of the hand for more draws. Okay. I. I do wish I. I had some. Ba I was able to banish though, just for the sake of like, getting more out. Maybe. Well, at least now you're in the case of uh, you can just use it for a level eight play if you'd like. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess we'll just get another monster out whilst we can. Um, do I get its effect off? Not right now. Oh, I that's don't. right. I will banish ah, yes. your field spell face down. Yep. So, Castir Fenrir, just always a good card. Yeah. Oh, right. And then I activate got the my uh, Gold Sarcophagus by discarding oh, yeah. my Nadir Servant. I can put that back into your graveyard. <laughs> nice. Let me get the search I was looking for then. Hey, how about we go for the field card? That sounds like a good time to do that. <laughs> Replay rules apply, yes continue the attack yep so pretty much everything was nullified but you got a card banished i guess we'll do that and just target destroy oh yeah it's safe very good i just cannot be destroyed by it the first effect. line of it <laughs> yeah no but i do know that a lot of players just play like harpy's feather dust and all that yeah i'll let your talk about oh now you have an easy target get to my head i believed you it's good all right. Well, I still have cards to bounce back with, hopefully. So we'll find out how and then, that goes. And then I'm going to play down my Pot of Desire since I just drew it. And now I have a beefier Gandora. All right. Now we in business. So I played that very sloppily. Not going to lie. But but there's good cards in the deck. So, you know, maybe it'll all work out. Of course, that's getting stronger and stronger. Uh, can I even destroy it? That's the question. I don't know. Um, when I activate a spell card while you control it, you can negate huge. Um, so I guess what is our starting play? We have a stone sweeper in hand. We can discard it and add one of the uh, other tuners we have. But we have all of the tuners in our hand already because, well, you gave us a million cards and we drew more. So we're just going to do the same song and dance again. Prison, prisoner line walker. Add to my hand. Earthbound prison. Now we see how things go. Of course, Castir Fenrir being a great card makes uh, my day a little harder. Um, but I get to play my prison, and I get to target one of your effect monsters and negate it, which, yeah, should have done that first. Uh, but instead, we will do it now. Oh, yeah, that's a... I can negate that sin with Silent Magician Zero? Yeah, you can. All right, so, field card, done. Darn it! <laughs> <laughs> we'll go for him for now. Okay, let's see how things can go. Uh, so this lets me normal summon uh, my Stone Sweeper. So I guess that's the only remaining play I have using the additional normal summon. All right. What does he have now? Everyone's used their effect. Um, I have one more card. I have one more card that can work. Okay. Uh, we'll use the one from the graveyard. Keep the one we have in hand at the ready. I can... 
do another discard. I guess I'll discard the other gold sarcophagus of light. Oh, uh, yeah, man, you got back. so much. Okay. Um, well, I got a little more in me. We're going to special summon the one from hand. And I guess the play now is to play the Harmonic Synchro Fusion. So you're actually, you know, all these counter cards are playing decently against me. However, I just, I've... The Gandora is a weakness right now with the zero attack, though. Yeah, and I've gotten myself a pretty good uh, set of plays as well. So I can now activate Geo Kraken. And I just got Dogmatic Punishment as well. <laughs> I'll just do your Earthbound Servant, Geo Gremlin. Okay. Um, I'll use his effect then. So he gets to do a thing, target a face-up monster, and I either gain life points or destroy it. So... Would you like to give me 4,000 life points or lose your Asylum Magician Zero? I'll give you 4,000 life... Oh, dang! Thanks! You would think... You would think that it's a, uh... That you... That it would be like a, uh... I'm gonna send that away. Um... You would think that it would be like using its original attack points, but no, it is not. Yeah, that was real good. Okay. That just that whole combo was just to give me an extra draw off. Yeah. Alright, now Yeah, I don't got much else. Uh so it's gonna be battle phase and a very minimal deliverance. So this one, um, what's his thing? Yeah, so that's that kind of limitation. I don't think it's going to be enough to take you on, but we'll just drop that while it's a zero. Why not? Because it's going to bounce back. And I think, uh, yeah, you are in a good position now. I will set another card and end my turn there. Did not get to keep my uh, Geo Gremlin on the field because you, uh, well, destroyed four of my cards as I brought them out that turn. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, Zylo. <laughs> Get one. All right. Arby's Feather Duster. <laughs> sure. Two dead cards in the back. Oh wait, what negated all my effects? Um, when you send uh, Earthbound Release to the graveyard. Oh, that backfired so hard on no, me. I don't, I don't know if it does. I think that's Earthbound Prison. Yeah, it's Earthbound Prison. Sorry. Um, if it's destroyed by card effect and I have an Earthbound Monster on my field or graveyard, half your opponent's life points and negate the effects of all cards your opponent controls. That backfired so bad on me because yeah. now Earth, Silent Magician Zero is just a thousand attack monster. It just <laughs> does the monster's cards currently on the field, right? Sure. Yeah, I think that's the case. All right. So then this is what I'll do. I will special summon. Who do I even bring out, actually? <laughs> I love how this deck is just stuffing all the taboos we usually don't include into it, and it's still struggling so hard. I will say the positives that are coming from this are largely from, you know, the uh, Silent Magician, that just under its own steam. So that's going pretty well for it. Yeah. Uh, shoot. What is my, like, my next move then? Oh my goodness. <laughs> you got level fours in the deck. Bring, bring out one of those level four X's. Another Silent Magician Zero. Actually, I can't go into the extra deck. It's not <laughs> letting me. Oh no, did something limit you there? I don't know. Was it? I like played was, uh... Oh, wait, I think it might have been... Was it Tricolor Gadget? Maybe. I don't know. Doesn't no, seem it like it, but... Ties of Friendship, oh, was... more likely. Yeah. Oh, mo yeah. Cannot Ties special summon from Monsters from the Extra Deck. There it is. It's so I don't abuse the, uh, like, Link fo Level 4 or something, or Link Summon. Nice. I guess. Well, you still have Gold Sarcophagus of Light and Fenrir on the field, so I'm still scared. Eh. Okay, Battle Phase... Yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. No battle phase. And then, oh, okay, you got that going. Yeah, I'll add my other Gandor, and then draw two new cards, and then of course you do as well. Yep. There, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Not enough though. Oh no. <laughs> well, this will be interesting, won't it? Uh, 
Okay, so I will do this at least. Mm -hmm. I will send away my Silent Magician Zero. Ooh. Who, of course, gets powered up by the many cards I have in my hand. Yeah. But, yeah, that's all I got. All right, well, it's a scary field out here, not going to lie. Oh, that's funny. The, oh, wait, no, you got rid of the uh, Silent Magician Zero. Okay, the one that was supercharged. Great. So, Fenrir is a big fear of mine. Yeah, I don't know if he would have regained the power he already had previously. Yeah, I should I should have tested that, even if... It's, it's fine. I, I mean, I'm going to have to find a way to get around your power anyway, by the look of this field. So, um, you have Fenrir, and he has a fun ability. So, if I activate a monster effect, you can target a face-up card I have and banish it, which is rough. So, uh, I guess i got to try to bait that out, don't I? Um, how do I make that happen? Uh, I have a Dark World Ascension. I can kind of do some good stuff. We also have an Earthbound Prison, so... Um, let's... Well, nothing's gonna happen here, let's be honest. Well, I can negate one spell, but I don't think I'm gonna negate that, so... Interesting choice. Okay. It's because uh, I'm scared of another Harmonic Synchro Fusion, that's why. I do have another Harmonic Synchro Fusion. Um, we're that's going to Special Summon... Do I activate Stone Sweeper or Special Summon? I suppose I'll activate. I'd like to get the uh, other guys out here. So, to my hand... We will do a... Do we do a line walker? No, we're going to do a groundskeeper in this position. I'm just going to try to activate Fenrir now. Of course, sure. we can do nothing. But that's just so it doesn't ask me every Understandable. two seconds. All right, so I think I have a great way of dealing with you here. Not going to lie. Oh, no. Um, we're going to normal summon this boy. That'll allow us to special summon... Um, I already have all the stuff I can get off Line Walker, so I'm just gonna skip to Stone Sweeper. I will activate my one-time sarcophagus to negate your bring back from the grave. Okay. So well, to put that yeah, back, send him away rather. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, and I think okay, I can special summon him as well. Nice. I forgot you put in the Wandering King in there. It was just to fill the deck out. You don't need him in here, but he's a free special summon of a level four. So, lets me go into, like, a couple options. But, uh, I'm just gonna do a normal summon and go for game here. Uh, Immortal Uru. Yeah. That sounds good to me. So, I lost because I forgot the effect of your field spell. Because I cut my life points in half and put me in this position. That certainly <laughs> did, did some extra damage, yeah. Okay, so, um, this card, um, can attack directly once per turn. I contribute another monster and target one of yours. Take control of the target. Um, I guess Wait, I can what? do that too, so. Can I still battle if I do that? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, you can't negate my effects anymore, can you? You uh, can just negate spells with all your guys, right? Oh, yeah, and or a monster that mentions. Okay, no. Target a card. Oh, gosh. When your opponent activates a card that targets Gold Sarcophagus or a monster that mentions it. Yes, yeah, so Silencer's been zero can block it. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the battle phase and attack directly. For game. And I have nothing to stop that with! Darn it, I, tr I tried so hard to. <laughs> with an immortal Uru. <laughs> that was interesting. We got to we gotta run that back. I want to see that happen again. Because I had a really... <laughs> I had some good stuff happening here. Um, it's not always that consistent with Earthbounds. The new Earthbounds, that is. Um, but, jeez. Uh, your deck's a mess. <laughs> Alright. It, it? it definitely it definitely worked differently. and I was actually able to prior... Use yeah, the... Fenrir carried a little bit, so... Yeah. But Fenrir, I feel like, is just being splashed in, in, in almost all the decks right now. He's, he is splashed in a lot of decks. There's definitely a little bit of cash tier mixed into a lot of things. So, that's one of the things. We just try our best not to use those cards that uh, are splashed into every deck in the meta. So you guys can see something different. But man, we're desperate to see this Gold Sarcophagus of Light shine. Yeah. Especially since it uses a lot of cards I particularly like. Like, it uses Gandora, it uses the Silent Magicians. Yeah, it, it actually makes a really decent Silent Magician play. Like, that card to make you draw plus it. 
that's a really good card. It's just not supported by enough. It isn't, no. So, like, maybe a chaotic mix of the deck is reasonable here. But in that case, maybe it's worth leaving certain cards out. But you need the gadget so you can search your uh, Sarcophagus of Light. Obviously, you need your Magician Zero, because it's, I think, the best monster card in the deck currently. Uh, don't know why you're summoning your Gandora without intention to use it. But, I mean, it would appear that you have this. You probably have the spell card to boost up one of your guys if you are just trying to get stuff out of the hand. Perhaps, but also first turn, so can't go into battle phase either, so... Yeah, once again, why would you summon Gandora? But fair enough. Uh, we have a lot of cards, so let's just start playing them. Um, how about we go for Lore Darkness? We'll get rid of our Wairachaka Raska. So I'll boost you a little bit. Uh, I think it's time to go for... You know what? I'd like to get my field card out bright and early here. Let's see if I can get lucky with the Dark World dealings. Um, okay. Not exactly everything we wanted to get. But... Yeah, we might as well do things in this order. Sure. I will get rid of... I really don't need one for one here. It's a great card, but... I have most of what I'm looking for. And... Oh, he's got some choices. Okay, so... He... Yeah, we will go for a Red Sprinter. Yeah! And now let me summon a Line Walker. So, just a way to get one more piece on the board. You don't need Red Sprinter with this deck, but it's just a little casual extender for you. And of this position, we will be able to get out additional monsters. So do we rush into Synchro Fusion, or do we Earthbound Prison? Considering you have a Silent Magician on the field, it would be foolish to rush Synchro Fusion. <laughs> it would be foolish to really play any spell card, to be honest, And when I don't have backups. Um, however, we'll see what we can do. Um, we can Special Summon our Wandering King Wildwind. So we just have some classic Synchro Extenders out here, doing their thing. And then we decide what our play is here. Um, yeah, because this looks like a Red Dragon Archfiend field right now. <laughs> yeah, it's got two cards that I commonly run in that. Obviously, that's my and main connection tuner. to Synchros. Yeah, um, to be honest, I can only go into an Ancient Fairy Dragon with this deck, with this uh, field. So it's not really looking crazy. Now, of course, to make it a little crazier, I would have to use some of my other cards. And I suppose there's... Well, I can't use my Stone Sweeper unless I get my Field Card, and I can't play my Field Card when you have the Silent Magician out there. So, we're going to kill it. Or we're going to attempt to kill it and see if that face down is as I fear. So, let's attack. Now, Lactivity, yeah. Uh, okay. My Silent Swords of Future. I will add the. Silent Swords so, of Future is such a good card. Yeah. I like it. I'll add the other Gandora to the hand, and then draw. Nice. So yeah, Red Sprinter getting wrecked, obviously. Um, I can still go for a little tiny attack on something else, or... Oh no, my uh, Wild One's in defense mode. Okay. No more attacks on anything else. So, you know, in, in the off chance that, that wasn't going to be the case, I had to shoot for it. Um, I don't have any more normal summons, which would be nice to have right now. And a Ancient Fairy Dragon will not exactly save uh, this field at the moment. Um, now... Yeah, I'd love to play my field card, but there's no reason to do so. No reason yeah. to play any of my other cards. It's kind of just a loss for this round. So. I, I think I, I know I have one dead card in the hand right now. And I might as well say what it is, because it's not sure. going to come into play. I drew the Nibiru that I mentioned I have in the deck. Okay. But... At that point where you were about to end your turn, after after the effect that of all the normal summons, it was going to be useless. And I don't think you're going to bring it up, do more than three special summons. I've I've seen I've seen those. Yeah, three or four is kind of where I go to because I get yeah because it's special summons and two of my summons are normal summons with Earthbounds. So it's tricky. Big powerful silent magician though. Yeah. Um. But in that regard, though, I don't know, like, 
what is like because if i okay so i can destroy one car with tricolor i forget what earth bounds if you guys have like like if they have like if this card is attacked destroy this monster or do something nasty nothing like, like that honest... okay at least not on yeah. the, the basic ones that i climb up with they just kind of set themselves up all right okay. So, One thing I do need to remember what the Garth Tarkovic is like, I can search out a card every turn. Okay. I'm going to uh, flip up Ultimate Earthbound Immortal so I can target and destroy one of your monsters. You know, if I had a regular Earthbound on the field, but you know. Yeah, if the, if, I feel like that card would be used so much more if, oh, if, if it was with any Earthbound, that would be a good card. I just have it in here for a fun card. As, yeah. as we established, this isn't like a, a high-level deck I'm running necessarily, but it's good. So I'm gonna often I my... like to mix in cards that are just sometime maybe they'll be it to be used one day. Yeah, it's huge power for the Silent Magician. Oh, he's just trying to go crazy now. Yeah, I was trying to see if there's any more ways of drawing cards to my hand right now, mm -hmm. but it doesn't seem like it is, and I better just focus on bringing out another monster to that can potentially finish you off this turn. That would be the goal. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna activate my Magician Souls by sending that to the graveyard. Okay. We can special summon the card. Sure. And do you have spells you'd like to get rid of? Um, Just one, but the other card that I would have to get rid of, I kind of want to keep in the hand. I think you only have to get rid of one. No, it doesn't say two? Up to two. Oh, yeah. up to two. So you can just get some free draws out of that. That's one of the reasons that people, you know, pack in a Magician Souls. For draw or, power. Yeah, or to send, like, their spellcasters to the graveyard. Which, Illusion of Chaos would normally not be the send to the graveyard target in that sense. Because Illusion of Chaos would be there to search the Magician Souls. And the Magician Souls would send another spellcaster to graveyard. But I'm, once again, not sure if any of your stuff largely benefits from that. Go. That's decent. <laughs> I don't like the fact... Servant as well. Yeah. Um, Magician Souls being on the field does make sense for um, more draws, though, to help your silent magicians. Yeah. Which the deck seems to lean more into with the silent magician. I think it should. Which I think the Gandora play is like a desperate panic button, in my opinion, where the mm -hmm. Silent Magician is what can hold the duel. Because like me not being able to play my field card is exactly what's probably about to win you the duel. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of my Magician's Souls by okay. Link Summoning with it. Great. Or should I do something else with it? No, that's the purpose. It's to get rid of spell cards and get more draws. All right, so I'm going to get rid of it to bring out... Artemis. Okay. And yeah, I'm not gonna switch Gandora to the to attack mode because I have no, I have, wait, no, that's right. I can only bring out I can only bring out my Fenrir if I have no cards in the field. So that's actually yeah. He's a, he's a great starter play, but yeah, he's not not in this position. You all need him. Okay, time it's to get hurt. hurt. Interesting choice. I'm meant to. I misclicked. I meant to attack the one with the 11 first. Okay. So we uh, we get to live a little. <laughs> and by a little, I mean a little. Okay. I could just be mean and just, uh, you want to know how many card decks were, because they just need more time with Silent Sarcophagus, we're running your f absolute favorite extra deck monster. <laughs> Bakuska Sarcophagus, huh? Yeah, Man, no, a lot of decks. Plays. <laughs> yeah, people were packing Baguska. That was the one of the most consistent extra deck cards I kept seeing in there, is Baguska. It honestly makes sense with Silent Magician, because you just want to buy a time with Silent Magician. Mm hmm so and as long as it's in defense still gets its effect climbing then it makes sense it's a good mix all right but what can you do xylo 
Well, let's see what I draw, because I need to get me another spell. That's actually a really good spell. Okay. So now... I do I do want to remind you, I do have one spell negation. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Which is why I couldn't play last round. So, I can banish this from the graveyard, add a fiend tuner from my deck to my hand. Lovely. Another reason to have your wild wind at the ready. Um, we will go ahead and immediately get... Let's go for the groundkeeper. All right. Now, I think I can just play freely with monsters, so we need to consider this. I can normal summon my line walker and give myself a field guard. Fantastic. Um, now, when can I special summon my stone sweeper? Um, well... Except you can... When can I... You can special summon this if it's... If a card is in a field card zone. So there's a lot of maybes coming out from this sequence of events we're going to have to see. Uh, this can summon a earthbound from deck or graveyard, so I may as well use groundkeeper here. So let's do that. Lovely. That will allow me to grab line walker. Line walker will allow me to grab... There's a couple options we could go for here, actually. Because this guy... Yeah, let's grab our Harmonic Synchro Fusion, just to leave choices. And then Foolish Burial. Okay. What is the... I do, I I'm trying to remember which is the ancient... Uh, not ancient gear. Freaking Earthbound Immortal. Well, there's that, not, that not a traditional do. one to send, necessarily. Obviously, they can kind of bring themselves back from the graveyard, so that's why... Uh, or bring each other back from the graveyard, that's one reason. Wild Wind's a decent send, because, you know, next turn, it can add a free tuner. Um, but in this turn, since we've already used Wild Wind... Distrudo. Ooh. Distrudo. Yep, so we got that going for I us. I always forget that they unbanned him. Right? Okay, now we're gonna... Let's, let's just run Distrudo. Why not? There's no downside to it. Um, so, of course, when we use Distrudo, its level's reduced by the targeted monster's level. So we can kind of just turn it into a 6 on the field, or we could turn it into a 4 on the field. Well, 4s are exceptionally valuable to me, so who needs life points? Alright. Okay... Next what? As we try to make crazy, crazy things happen. I think... Okay, so we got Harmonic Synchrofusion in the prison. He's gonna negate one. We might as well play this. Uh, you know what? Not even gonna target you to negate. I'll leave the choice right. completely up to you. No forced activation. I am gonna stop that because if I act forget that card and I play like Harpy's Feather Duster and destroy it, mm -hmm. it's gonna bite me so hard <laughs> True. like it did before. Right, I will say I did kind of misplay, so you made the right call. Uh, let's just get rid of Gandora because your Silent Magician's way too strong for me to be able to destroy with Dogmatica Punishment. Um, that means we can send to the graveyard, however. A, uh, I don't think any of these are huge effects. When this, uh, oh, actually, if a monster destroyed itself to the graveyard, nope. That's not him. Uh, who gets the good graveyard send effect? Is it Gremlina? Uh, nope. Is it a UTO Kraken? Might be. Nope. <laughs> Didn't think so. Alright, yeah. Now, unfortunately, uh, I can't use either my Stone Sweeper or my Harmonic Synchro Fusion without the field card. So you should be set to win right here. I'll just activate that. I can get another card to my hand, but I can't exactly use them. Because, well, I don't got the levels for all that. I also just added a card I already had to my hand. Just because we're clicking through things. But yep, that is indeed that. I don't actually have anything. I was just trying to scare you. Uh, battle phase! I don't have anyone to battle with. Distrudos in defense mode. Okay. I thought you we were going to bring out, like, Ancient Fairy or something and get another field spell going. No, I didn't have the option to do so, obviously. On the field right now, it's just tuners. Oh, that's right. All of them are tuners. <laughs> yeah, and I needed to get my Stone Sweeper out so I could use my Harmonic Synchro Fusion. Should have just searched two field cards there, but I was getting greedy. Because then I could have obviously just forced them to gate them, played another one like I did in the first duel. That was the right call, but I got greedy. Yeah, I think there's... I think without sugarcoating it, I should just go for the attack for game right here. On yeah. your Earthbound... Take the win sleeper. while you can. Quick, quick. <laughs> Before you make a comeback. And what's terribly sad... 
Is it wasn't even one of the new golden sarc? You just won with the silent magician. <sighs> but like I said before, it what the silent magician cards were like sort of carrying this like the uh, like the not this duel, just silent magician itself. True, but it was also the what was it the the spell card that allowed me to draw so True, much. The that spell card is me good. To... So there's two good cards in the deck. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video, and we'll see you next time. See you, folks.